Alright, it is Tuesday, May 14, 2019 at 4.35 p.m. We're taking a quick look here at some of the weather happening next week. And this week says here, severe weather to return to the plains Friday into early next week with tornadoes, hail, damaging winds, and flooding rain. After a relative low, severe weather, weather will roar back into the plains starting Friday. The severe threat will persist through the weekend. Another round of severe, severe weather may then follow in the plains next Monday and Tuesday. Tornadoes, large hail, damaging winds, and flooding rain are all threats. Severe thunderstorms with thorn tornadoes, damaging winds, large hail, and flooding rain will return to the plains Friday, lasting into early next week, bringing an end to a relative lull in severe weather. The jet stream pattern will essentially flip late, th late this week, taking a much further southward plunge over the Rockies, then punching its energy east into the plains states this weekend. When this happens, wind shear, the change in wind speed and or direction with height is much higher and warm, humid air streams into the plains from the Gulf of Mexico. The combination is expected to support severe thunderstorms as soon as Friday evening into the plains, continuing into this weekend. A second jet stream plunge is then expected to swing into the plains early next week, triggering another round of severe weather. Given May's, given May's reputation as the peak month for tornadoes in the U.S. and saturated soil from recent heavy rains in the plains, this active pattern has our attention. Typical for severe weather outlooks several days away, some uncertainty remains in this forecast, but the generalities of some of the days ahead are becoming clearer. Supercells and long lines of severe thunderstorms known as squall lines are both possible at times with tornadoes, damaging winds, large hail, and heavy rain. It's, it's too soon to determine the details such as the magnitude and location of the tornado threat each day. Here is the current forecast for now. Friday, scattered supercell thunderstorms are possible by afternoon or early evening in the high plains from Nebraska to western Oklahoma and the rolling plains of west Texas. This activity may evolve into one of the more overnight thunderstorm clusters from west central Texas to Nebraska, south Dakota, southwest Minnesota, and Iowa. Saturday, numerous severe thunderstorms are expected from parts of Nebraska and Iowa to central Texas continuing into the night and here is Saturday's forecast with rain and severe weather from Omaha, Kansas City, Tulsa, Dallas, and Austin, Texas. On Sunday, this is a more uncertain forecast but at least some severe thunderstorms are possible from parts of the Mississippi Valley to East Texas and Louisiana. On Monday and Tuesday, scattered severe storms are possible Monday afternoon in the plains from Kansas perhaps southern Nebraska to western Oklahoma and the Texas Panhandle. Next Tuesday, that severe threat may become more ex expansive in the plains, somewhat analogous to Saturday from the Corn Belt to Nebraska and Iowa to North Texas. In Tuesday's morning's extended forecast outlook, Storm Prediction Center highlighted areas of severe threat on each of their days, 4 through the 8th Friday through next Tuesday. For the first time since the year began, they began issuing daily extended severe weather outlooks in 2008, according to uh, Patrick Nash, warning coordination meteorologist. There is flash flood threat. Repeated rounds of heavy rain over the past week or so triggered significant flood flooding in parts of Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi, including cities such as Houston, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and Jackson, Mississippi, among others. It was the wettest day 12 days of May on record in Dutch City, Kansas, the wettest such period since 1904 in Austin, Camp Mabry, Texas, since 1978 in both Jackson, Mississippi, and New Orleans, according to the Southeast Regional Climate Center. Soil moisture remains in the 99th percentile over a vast swath of the nation's midsection and some rivers are still above flood stage from the northern plains to the Gulf Coast. These upcoming rounds of severe storms may produce at least locally heavy rains at times over parts of the saturated plains 
or Mississippi Valley, potentially triggering flash flooding in at least some spots. And here is the rain outlook through May 21st. It is not yet clear whether next week's thunderstorms will progress east in a similar fashion to this weekend's storms or in the frontal boundary will stall in the plains. If the front stalls, this could lead to additional rounds of soaking thunderstorms which could rise the flood threat. Alright, also, let's take a look here at Twitter. It says here, while I'm not sure if I've seen a full 8 day spread of severe weather risks like this, or in a, in a very long time, marginal risk in place um, today through Thursday, enhanced risk for Friday already, slight risk in place Saturday through next Tuesday, all modes of severe weather. And here is the Tuesday marginal, Wednesday marginal, Thursday marginal, Friday enhanced in the mid plains, Saturday slight, Sunday slight, Monday slight, and Tuesday slight. But the mid plains is pretty much where the action is going to be this coming week. Alright, any 800,000 square mile swath of the central United States will be at risk for rounds of severe thunderstorms, including the potential for tornadoes, starting late this week and continuing well into next week. And here we see severe thunderstorms late Friday, Friday night, damaging wind gusts, large hail, flooding downpours, and tornadoes for the areas of Sioux Falls, Grand Island, Dodge City, Oklahoma City, and Lubbock, Texas. And then severe thunderstorms for Saturday, Saturday night, damaging wind gusts, hail, flooding downpours, and tornadoes all the way up to Des Moines. Iowa, Kansas City, Oklahoma City, Dallas, and Austin, Texas. And then severe thunderstorm risk on Sunday for the Chicago area, Kansas City, St. Louis, and Little Rock areas. So pretty much we're having a very active week. So guys, stay aware, stay safe. Please keep an eye on your neighbors and pray for your families and your neighbors. God bless you guys and see you guys next time. Hit like and subscribe for more. Stay safe out there, guys.